about the backlink types. Backlinks are classified into two types. One is a do follow backlink and one is no follow backlink. And we also understood how to check if it is a do follow or no follow the different kinds of plugins and the manual method of checking the do follow or no follow backlinks, right? Not every link will be a do follow link and right most of them could be no follow as well and no follow links are of not much use for SEO they would not get the bot to visit your website it, it may not improve any kind of crawl frequency for your website only the do follow links will help to improve the crawl stats of your website okay so now this core topic uh, stresses more on the off page activity stresses especially the backlink building activity we are going to call it as backlink building acti activity because off page activity comprises multiple implementations or activities which would get no follow backlinks or where most of these efforts are also to get the leads or traffic or visibility or branding to the website right yes. hence we will split it as backlink activity and off page activities okay so when i say backlink activities the more main goal here is to get a do follow backlink to the website correct right so what should you do to build the backlinks you have to find the websites from which you can build the backlinks now the biggest challenge is finding the websites how do we find the websites there are millions of websites correct on the earth on the internet yes. but is it possible for you to build backlinks from all of these websites no. or even if it is possible should you be building links from all those websites what kind of website should you be considering right so these are the first level of questions that arises when you have to build the backlinks for your website right so you have to find the websites from which you can build the backlinks we have a detailed process in identifying the websites from which the backlinks can be built right we are going to discuss that in depth next is study or assess the website metrics in order to understand the suitability or relevancy to build the links from such websites so there are thousand websites but what we are going to do we are going to study them and understand certain metrics pertaining to those websites if they are good we are going to get backlinks from those websites it's like before you hire a candidate for any role you are going to assess study them and understand couple of things around that person right exactly the same happens with regard to the websites right either register an account and figure out how to get backlinks from those websites or approach the website owners to get backlinks from backlink build from those websites and make a deal to provide a backlink to your website uh, website owners to get the backlink build from those websites and make a deal okay so now after identifying assessing and understanding whichever are, uh, which websites are good and which are not good so you can start registering on those websites whichever are good you have thousand websites list with you of this thousand only hundred websites are good now you can start approaching this hundred website owners asking them to provide a backlink right yes sir correct and then you will start you will also start few websites you cannot approach the owners right you can register on those websites can you approach mark zuckerberg no yes, right no. you can go and create a facebook account over there you can register an account over there correct yes correct yes so same way you can create account on some of these websites and they would naturally give a link they will ask you which is your website what's your website right so you can provide the link of your website and that can be a backlink do follow backlink or no follow backlink as well so we are going to do that activity only if it is do follow right but 90 percent of the website from the internet by default when you register on those websites and if you're providing your website links by default they will be no follow right so we have a different method of getting do follow backlinks we, we, we may have to avoid doing such activities where registering so you cannot commenting on the blogs and leaving a link commenting on the YouTube and leaving a link of your website or the YouTube channel do you think they all will give you a do follow backlink no they won't they all will be no follow backlinks okay. okay you cannot get anything out of it except visibility or traffic relevant traffic if your expectation is only relevant traffic go ahead and do it not a big deal creating an account on just dial suleka or maybe india or any such websites you would just get a referral traffic or brand name even if you are not linking to the website if it is just a link 
sorry, if it's just a name, maybe you might get a brand uh, identity, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, these are the usual steps. You have to find the websites from which you can build the backlinks. Second thing, refine the list. And third thing, approach the owners and close the deal. This is what the backlink process involves, right? So now how do we see it? It's been told so simple in these three, these three steps. But these three steps could be a lifetime job for someone, for the complete month for someone, right? So they keep doing this over a period of a month or two months also, right? So or it could be continuously they will be only into that role. Finding the websites, understanding the quality or refining the list and then approaching the website owners and they will close the deal, bargain, negotiate, everything happens in the third step, right? So how do we get the website list to build backlinks? Download the competitor's backlinks profile using the tools like Majestic SEO, Moz or Ahrefs. Right, so Majestic is the Majestic.com. See, previously we were discussing about the Search Console. Search Console doesn't provide you the complete list. Yes. Search Console provides you only the sample data. Then, from where do you get the complete list? So there are tools like Majestic SEO, Moz. Right. So maybe if it is Moz, I will take you to this browser. Uh, Moz. Moz DHS. Free domain authority checker. So now let's say Canva Digital, any other company uh, similar to Canva Digital. Let me just add the list. So if you are using a paid version of this, right, free SEO tools dot USC, US. So that's the place where you can buy the website uh, tools at much cheaper price. Did we discuss that earlier? Yes, sir, yeah. So we have discussed that earlier. See, look, look at this linking. Uh, so the number of domains, see, look at the domains. From these domains, they have backlinks, but not every backlink that they have is a do follow backlink. Majority of them are no follow as well. For example, this one link from this is no follow. But when you download the sheet, you will get a complete detail with columns indicating it's a do follow or no follow. You will have the domain name from which page to which page it's linking on your website. Right? Do follow, no follow, the domain authority, the page authority, the spam score and various kinds of details you will get it over a email. Sorry, uh, in the Excel sheet. When you are on the paid version, I think we are on a paid version, but I forgot the password. Okay. So that's easy. Same thing. If you are subscribing, it gives you the download option. You can just download and go through it. See, these are the links for which they have built the backlinks. Top pages by links. Obviously, home page will have highest number of links. By default, people link to home page. So they have articles for which they have built backlinks. Top technology trends and job article. Best programming languages start learning today article. They have two different versions, WW version and non WW version. WW version probably they must be redirecting it to non WW, but people by mistakenly link it to WW. So the same is happening everywhere. Right? So that is one tool. This is another tool. Again, the paid version would give you a very detailed report or data. Right? Yeah. So here I have taken the example of the interface. You could see domain authority is 49 page of 49.9k domains linking to some website. See, for example, if you are into training, so I can download my competitors, your competitors training list uh, any competitor who is into similar services one second guys no. it's not other but yeah yeah Okay. 
So if you are, uh, see that's one of the easiest way, right? So you don't know which websites to be considered. Already your competitor must have built backlinks. If you think your competitor is much advanced than you in the terms of digital marketing implementation, right? Obviously you would have built links from the relevant websites. So we have missed out on one more thing, right? So I would probably mention it here, pre requisites always build links from the relevant websites always build it's not compulsory always build links from the websites whose domain authority is on the higher side make sure the spam score is negligible or less than five percentage okay relevant websites relevant websites Okay, so always build links from the relevant websites. Relevant websites indicate websites which covers the topics or contents about your domain or industry. or at least which has the audience base of your industry or not mission okay yeah so now for example uh, we have a new approach for people uh, that sites uh, for trade and access um, now we are first to me. Mm -hmm. So just give us an example like how much it cost. Uh, I will I will walk you through all of that. Yeah. So these are uh, some basic prerequisites. Okay. But now I understanding website C it's not that it's not that difficult, but it's a time taking thing. Okay. Uh, evaluating all these things against any domain is a time taking thing. And quickly uh, we want to bypass all of this or maybe we want to simplify these things that doesn't mean again you are going with the poor quality websites so in those cases what we do is simply we will take our competitors our competitors also definitely would have followed these guidelines yes correct hence one of the method is scraping competitors data using the tools like majestic or moss yeah Okay, so when you download it, I will share the list that Excel format how you get the download for email. So here I haven't copy pasted, but I shall do it later. So now once you have the details list, see you can only get the list of domains from which your competitor or any other website has built the links, but you will not get their contact details. You have to manually now go through the list. Only half of the work is simplified. Remaining half of it is still there. You have to do it manually, right? So now what you will do is you will start approaching the vendors or I would say this is first step right download the complete backlinks profile using the majestic SEO or reference second step would be 
process and refine the data as per your requirements such as the metrics like DA spam score uh, do follow or process and refine the data as per your requirement okay such as the metrics like DA spam score do follow and do follow and many more okay so once you have the refined list then you will start approaching the vendors who are into the backlink business and get the list of websites see approach the website owners or vendors i'll explain you the difference between the owners and the vendors here who are into backlink business and get the list of websites you can find them by posting the job on freelance.com elance.com and many more website see here i will separate this approach the website owners and request or propose providing backlinks to your website that is one thing okay so this is approach this it is this completely it's simplified by approach word but it's not going to be that easy right okay so this includes going through each website manually and collecting the details pertaining to the website owners such as email id and phone number correct also in contact do you think we can speak about all these things or phone no yeah, you can such as email id or phone number okay so we are going to discuss that in this step as well how do you write the emails or how do you speak what all has to be spoken in order to convince them for the backlinks so now another approach is you cannot contact owners in some scenarios okay let me write it you cannot find the you cannot find the contact details of the okay here uh, website owners that easily okay and in those cases approach vendors who are into the backlink business and get the list of websites with contact websites i can list of websites list of websites and all the details pertaining to those domains including the commercials okay so these people will be in touch with the domain owners or they would have become a guest author so i'll tell you that guest author thing i haven't mentioned here so they must be getting a backlink for free with the presence with their presence on that website so for example let's assume kanda digital will make you all as authors of kanda digital blog because you all are students of kanda digital and i would be okay to make you as author of the blogs and whenever you write something this allows you to have some links inserted in this content yes and now what you will do you will start inserting links of some other website you will tell to those website owners or have pitch to those website owners i'll build a backlink to your website and for every link i'll be charging you 1000 rupees 5000 rupees only 1000 much higher there were scenarios we have paid 10000 20000 50000 for like as well for link benefit out of this i'll tell you you got 
So I told you backlinks, why are backlinks built first thing? Do follow backlinks, for the crawl papers, right? Yes. That's the benefit. We are going to study how that's going to help as well. Yeah. So these people must be paying negligible amount to the website owner and they will pitch you a higher price. They are like middlemen. You understood? Yes, sir. So we had, uh, see now we want we, we wanted to, to expedite this process quickly. We don't want our team to be, this was a senior new few years ago when I was heading marketing at a different company. So team would take a lot of time to go through this manual process of finding the content details, bargaining, everything. For us, spending high amount was fine, but for us, expediting the activity was super important. We used to spend 10-15 lakhs every month only on the backlink. So we had a couple of vendors in that, one of the vendors, she was making 6-10 to 10 lakhs from our side. And of this 6-10 to 10 lakhs, even if she pays to her, uh, to the website owners, some 3 lakhs, 4 lakhs, remaining yeah. all is profit. And her monthly profit was that much. You understand how people make money out of this? There are millions of people who make money out of this and I still receive so many emails from people who are into this. The vendors, every day we have very quality websites and we get a backlink to your website. Each link costs $15, $30, every, any Can be from any part of the globe and most will be Indians. <laughs> Pakistan is not Indians, Pakistan is Bangladesh, Indians, Th those people as well. It's, it's quite easy, right? So, just like a middleman, over there they must be getting it for free, correct? Yes. So, when the owner doesn't come to my office, owner is just, see, you are the front face for that owner, you are paying $10 to owner. Owner is okay, owner, why will owner get into how much you are charging, he will never get to know. You must be charging $20 to someone else. You are the middleman here, you are paying $10 to the owner, please give me a link, $10, I'll pay $10. And you are selling it for $20, $30. And backlinks backlinks people make lakhs of money. That's a skill or a tactic that people should be well versed with. You cannot get into it now and expect you to be becoming a... <laughs> Money maker immediately. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. So this is one method. Uh, guest author also. We I must have written or explained it here. We will go through it. Yeah. So this process again approaching the. Uh, if you are approaching owners, there is a process. How to write emails to them. What kind of elements have to be brought in over there, etc. Right now, if you have to do this manually using the search parameters see one method was to get the data from mouse or majestic correct now you can use a manual method using the search parameters to clear the website from search engine results page which are accepting guest writers where you can contribute and place your website links right so you put in title write for us So these are the companies accepting guest authors. What is it? Guest authors? So you can become an author on their website and you can start publishing your content on their website. And when you publish, they, you can leave a link in those articles, but they will have the guidelines. You cannot insert many links. Some will write you don't put any backlink at all. Some will write only one link is permitted. Few will say uh, maximum two are permitted, maximum one is permitted. Few may not have any kind of guidelines. They are not well versed with all of this. They just want guest authors to be contributing. So, so content is expensive, right? Some informative, some information. If they have to develop a piece of high quality information, it takes efforts. Yes. So, what do they do? They invite the authors from across. These people will write in their name. The article gets published, and in the article, they'll have the backlinks. For example, now you can become a guest author. You don't have any website. But you would have made deal with 20 people here around. I can build a backlink for you and you will insert their links and you will show see look at this I have built a backlink to your website by inserting your link on the website. You pay me $10 for that link, $20 for that, $50, right? So this way in title, in URL, 
in domain something like that you can put these kinds of searches contribute write for us is one way and you would see everybody writing write for us right and we really don't know if they would accept the do for a backlinks or will they are will they be okay to give the backlinks we have no idea about any of those things how you to have to huh? how to find it you have to visit them visit these websites you visit this website so see let's take this so get paid for your content submissions this person has written get paid for your content submissions uh, see you can contact they have given the form here when you fill it they would connect. reply to your email connect and they will take it forward yeah they are going to pay you moreover knowledge from sika hostels is a sika host by Manuela will bold, right? So each website, so somebody might have put number, correct? It's different, right? Dealing different people in your life is different thing. It's not the same, correct? So exactly the same happens here. That skill is what is going to play the role here. Okay. Scrape the web results for the select selected and relevant informational queries and approach the website owners. For the backlinks, so scraping, uh, there are some browser extensions. Otherwise, if you are using Moz toolbar, Moz toolbar gives you a download option to the left side. So if that is enabled on the browser, you will see a download option here. Automatically, it downloads. I'm on the free uh, free version. Yeah, you see here download option so when you click on it it gives data in a excel format so if you are on a paid version on this tool you will get all of that freely downloaded it's just, just give me one second so, I have another question. Another topic. so for an example now i'm creating a website you website be shown in Google also and even on LinkedIn or write anything for that. You see, uh, ideally speaking, if your website is on internet and if there is no effort from your side, okay, if there is no uh, effort from your side in showing on Google, still, despite of that, still they would naturally crawl your website and start showing your website on google and bing okay. okay alternatively you have an option to display your website on google by communicating to google or bing by using a tool called search console google search console or bing search console where you're going to create an account over there while creating itself you would have told this is my website and that itself is enough for them to crawl your website even if you are, uh, uh, I mean like eventually on the go, if you want to communicate about any new page put up on the page website, you can submit that link. Anyways, naturally it would crawl, but it takes some time. But if you are in a hurry, if you want to put it across, correct? Mm -hmm. So in those cases, you can communicate over there. I'll show it to you. So I have just clicked on the download link here. It started downloading the Excel format. See, it's showing in title right for us, Google 2024 date, month and so now open this, you would look, see how it's downloading the data, whichever you have scraped. Look at this. So this is a different sheet. Hold on. Yeah, this is how you would get position in the, it's showing zero position. This is what is ranking in the first, if you look at this, see? Yes, so, but then it's counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 positions, the URL, the title, description, page authority, total links, domain authority. So you have to study this data as well. How many links are pointing to this website already? You mean the backlinks or? Total links to the page. See, see, this particular page about contribute has these many links. And now think of the number of things a website would have. Obviously. 
So now building links from these kinds of websites will be very good. And look at the domain authority, 82, 77, 91, 76, 56, 85, 94, right? These are all super good. Building links from these kinds of websites will improve the crawl frequency of your website significantly. Okay. So now this way you can download and compile everything to one sheet and then you can start approaching them or you are, you, 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 you then initiate your let me copy paste this format. Okay. Okay, so I'm uh, copy pasting uh, the scrape data, how you would get the data. So from this data, you can manually look into them. Okay, so manually go through the list and finalize the domains from which you would like to build a to follow or links backlinks to follow backlinks okay you are going to finalize on basis of relevancy ba Backlinks count, uh, spam score, etc. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Next is next. There is one more method which is which may not be possible or easy now there is something called as display planner on so you have seen keyword planner right so same tool same google adwords has another section called display planner which will help you to get the website list based on the category or keyword information you provide the data can be bought from google ads tool okay so display planner targeting see look at this so targeting placements okay so now it's showing you the list of websites which all uh, list of websites by their traffic or impression data now people who have registered for adsense are the people who are looking for to make an additional income or revenue correct yes correct so this indicates this people might show interest in providing backlinks to your website as well when you pay to them okay. correct when you pay to them correct so, so, so this being the reason, so what you can do is you can simply get all this list of domains and you can start approaching them. So again, after getting the domains list, the domains list has three methods. One is you use Majestic SEO or mouse, any such relevant tool. Second is you're going to scrape from the search results from the Google, for example, in title, containing right for us, contribute for us, or maybe some other content, any keyword related to your business. And you would go through all those websites and you will start approaching those people. That is another method. And third method is you will use the display planner available on Google Ads. And you will get the list of websites. And after this stage, the process would remain same. You would get the details like domain authority, page authority, the number of backlinks pointing to these websites using one of these tools like Majestic SEO or any other tool. Okay. Or manually. Right. So once you have all those details, you will finalize the list. Finalize the domains based on this, based on their credibility, their credibility, relevancy, couple of other factors, 
and after finalizing you will start finding the contact details and you will start approaching them huh? okay so why you can't build links from all these websites that you have compiled many websites would have been prone to google penalizations understanding this and avoiding building links from such websites is super important how to find them huh? how to find them on google website has been penalized okay see websites home pages will not get indexed so we understand if the website home page is indexed or not using this site column so home page is showing right the number of pages see basically penalize is nothing but they are not performing to the way they are supposed to be a website has 10000 web pages but only 100 pages are indexed they have 10000 relevant valid web pages but only 100 are indexed which is very bad the web pages home page should compulsorily show on google if it is not showing it is either blocked or there is some other issue with the website the domain authority has to be good correct so some of these metrics will tell you how good it is and if they are publishing content regularly quality content that also indicates they are frequently performing activities and their crawl frequency is good and you can consider building links from such websites right many websites may not be relevant building links from the irrelevant websites is a negative indication to the bots and you might read less from such links or will be prone to google spam and penalization okay so here don't uh, treat penalization as some very uh, big thing okay people actually portray and treat it as a big thing because they don't know what it is see so you are walking on a road and suddenly you will a uh, small stone uh, you will step on it and you will feel very discomfort should you call that as that stone penalized you no. see just that there are certain things which are not really up to the mark would impact on the progress yes. people cannot figure it out many people don't figure it out what is the problem and they simply call it as google has penalized but right yes. for few people who don't understand how search engines function the way that we have discussed they simply call penalize penalty and this care they get scared okay, okay. so uh, simple if a website for website if you are adding no index tag you are instructing not to index any page on google people do it by mistake only and pages would go away from the index they call it as penalization okay. so people would build links from irrelevant websites where they would see spam bots visiting their website and if these spam bots are engaging the server for example this right this moment i am engaged with you all in the class correct can i respond to the clients now i won't be able to right let's assume responding to the clients is at most important thing for me now what happens when i am engaged in the class i won't be able to respond same happens when your website is engaged by the spam bots spam bots have visited your website your website is not accessible for google bot and if google bot is not crawling your website effectively it would eventually throw you away correct yes correct so that's how a spam bot visiting your website would impact your website right so you have to be very careful from which websites you are building the links if some website has spam bot visiting their website it comes to your website as well okay. it's like how covid spreads Got yeah. the bots keep moving exactly they are like a virus they keep spreading everywhere correct yes sir. if it's a good virus that's great if it's a bad virus there are different kinds of viruses there are different kinds of bots it's not just the google bot always correct yes sir sounds actually anti which is on so there are different kinds of bots on the internet bot is nothing but a small piece of program so any developer sitting here on this floor can now write a program and send it to your website to scrape the information on your website and we call that also a bot and now if they find a link pointing to another website the bot visits from this website to the destination website as well right so robots.txt could help in those scenarios block everything and allow only google bot right yes sir or you may have to manually remove such links pointing to your website okay. you will be 
checking it manually how good or bad these websites are. You cannot completely rely on tools for everything, correct? Websites could be related to competitors. You should know whom you are approaching. See, when you are scraping the list or downloading data, sometimes you will see websites which are exactly into the same thing, probably your competitors, correct? You should not approach them. It turns out to be a negative effect. Some of the websites might fall to the category of news and would have got picked up by the news publications for information about their respective businesses. Some of the websites may not be credible and useful. Some other websites would have got expired. Some of the websites top level domains dot in dot us dot net extensions are not relevant based on the business category or category and have to be avoided building links from such domains. You are doing business only in India and your domain is dot in or dot com whatsoever but you are Indian business. People would build a lot of links from USA, Australia or any other country might look suspicious or irrelevant because there are reason specific bots as well. There are bots based on the content like image bot, text bot, video bot, ad bot, right? And content specific bots as well. Obviously, you are telling that I am all belonging to USA region and when they come and see your website, it's all about India, right? Unnecessarily, you are crawling USA bot which this energy you could have, this server space, server energy you could have spent on Indian bot, correct? Yes. You want to make presence in India, correct? Some of the domains might belong to different languages and countries and are not relevant and you should avoid building links from such websites. Clear indication, a Chinese website building link to an English website clearly indicates it's a suspicious activity. Yes. Moreover, it's whether it indicates suspicious or not suspicious, the bot visiting those websites will be China, they don't have Google, they don't use Google. Yes. Which, which search engines do they use? They own something. Baidu. Something? Yandex or Baidu? Yandex. Baidu is by Russia. No, no, sir. No. Russia also uses their own search engine that is Baidu. Yandex is China. Right? They don't have Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, they have their own. Okay, so there is no point of you getting those bots to your website, right? Okay, so factors to check and consider for the external websites. Is it getting late, guys? Yes, sir. Okay, then we'll wind it up. So this is, there is so much more. Okay, there are uh, uh, one, two, three, yeah, four more pages. We'll continue tomorrow. So, mm -hmm.